don't think you should have said anything. She's definitely going to know it was us. Don't worry. It was me that told Peter. I'll tell Mrs. Connor that. Well, then I'd feel guilty about you carrying the can. Hey. I thought your place would be closed again today. Yeah, it is. We're just still clearing out all the smoke damage stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, me too. We had all sorts of bits and bobs on there. Maps and tools and all ruined. Um, Mrs. Connor, we are so sorry about telling Peter about the CCTV. What do you mean, we? It was you that said it. Yeah, well, you said you felt guilty about me carrying the can. It's all right, girls. I mean, you're not in trouble, are you? It's just a misunderstanding. Yeah, it's just I didn't want Abby getting the blame. But you didn't mind blaming me? Well, it wasn't like that. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't, Sally. I'm sure it wasn't just you gossiping about the uh, CCTV being blank. We, we were just talking more about the fire, really. Yeah, and it just slipped out. I am not interested. Getting to work, pair of it. Morning. I'd like to ask you a few questions about the boat fire. Me? So, can you tell us where you were when the fire happened? Hang on, am I suspecting this? No, we're only making preliminary inquiries. Uh, we haven't established that a crime's been committed yet. Right, well, I was shopping in town. Anyone with you? No, I was on my own. So, no one who can vouch for your whereabouts? Vouch for me? And th this is really starting to sound like I am a suspect. Do I need a solicitor? As I've said, these are initial inquiries, but if the fire service conclude that the fire was started deliberately, it will potentially be a very serious matter. How serious? Well, someone was asleep on the boat, arson with intent to endanger life. Listen, I can promise you I did not touch that boat. I bought the blooming thing. Uh, could you tell us how your CCTV footage came to be deleted? But it just deletes random days. I don't know, I've been meaning to have it fixed. I just haven't. And there's no way of retrieving the deleted files? No, I've checked. There's no backup. OK. Well, that's all for now. For now? Well, we may need to talk to you again, depending on how our inquiries progress. So I shouldn't leave the country, should I? Thanks for your time, Mrs. Connor. So come on then. Carla, coming to look at the roof here. Oh no, Gary, I've got too much on my plate. Well, I think the fire's caught the edge just there. It's best I to be said safe. No, I said no. Just asking, Gary. Don't worry about it. She always gets snappy when she's got something to hide. Oh, give it a rest. Why should I give it a rest? Because I did not set fire to your stupid boat. Because I wouldn't do that to you, and you should know it. Very large glass of wine, please. It's an emergency. What's happened? Oh, I had a really bad day. Right, that makes two of us. Hey. Okay. Please, Ryan, asking questions about the boat fire. What's happened to the CCTV? Where was I in the night of? Right. So what did you tell him? Well, what could I tell him? I was out shopping. I had no alibi. What do you mean, alibi? Did he think it was a crack? Well, I don't know, maybe. What, and you're a suspect, are you? But, I don't know. I, I feel like I am. I mean, it looks really bad, doesn't it? What with the CCTV being deleted and all that. But I, I told him it just wipes random days. And one of them just happened to be the day that your ex's boat gets torched. What is this? You're meant to be on my side. I am. I just know when you're alive. What are you hiding? Nothing. Did you set fire to that boat? No, I did not. So, how come you deleted the CCTV then? Okay, I did delete the CCTV, but it was not me who set fire to that boat. It was Roy. Roy! And I will do whatever I can to protect him. I don't want.